We're learning new details about a small airplane that emergency landed this morning in Carlsbad. It crashed on a beach near Poinsettia Lane. Now, three people survived that crash. None of them had to go to the hospital. Fox 5's Alani Latang has been there on the scene. In fact, Fox 5 was the first team there at the scene, and we've been there out all throughout the day. Alani starts us off with the latest. Andrew Maria, good afternoon. And luck or a miracle, whatever you want to call it, for these three people surviving, crashing their plane. And it was quite the scene. The plane was here all day. It's gone now. It was quite the operation getting the plane out, involving the county environmental health. But people lined this beach here to watch and to witness before, after, and during this all took place. Well, it was like 740-ish. I was up and we were getting getting moving and just heard a sound like a, a larger than usual wave, like a rogue wave that sometimes will hit. I went down to find out what was going on and saw everybody looking over the side. They went, oh, that's unusual. A front row seat to the crash of this 1973 single engine plane at South Carlsbad State Beach Thursday morning. All three passengers swam to shore before help even arrived. It's phenomenal. It's God's grace. It's, it's, uh, they walked away from it. The plane left Montgomery Gibbs Airport in Kearney Mesa, headed to John Wayne in Orange County. Carlsbad Fire Department says Palomar Airport in Carlsbad says the pilot complained of engine problems. Air traffic control then lost contact with the pilot before crashing roughly two miles away from the runway. It was a king tide today, so it was very high tide. There was no beach. All it was was a bunch of cobblestones, uh, you know, and beach rock. And it was a, uh, you know, so they put it in the water, which uh, I guess they did say that they made a conscious uh, decision to not put the landing gear down so that maybe they could glide across the surface of the water a little bit better. So I think it worked out for them. According to the FAA registration, the plane is owned by Christopher Sluka, who on Facebook says he owns Learn to Fly San Diego, a sticker seen on the side of the plane. I think it's just an incredible day for them. I mean, he's extremely lucky. A lot of times when this, these sort of things happen, I said, you know, hopefully they go buy a lottery ticket. The tremendous luck today. And they should buy a lottery ticket, but the FAA and the NTSB are investigating. It's not known what caused that engine to, to fail, but we're hoping to learn more in the weeks to come. Reporting live in Carlsbad, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News. Right, very fortunate in the way that it all played out. Alani, thank you so much starting us off. We also